Today I'm going to show you guys how to make 3D inside of Node video. It's pretty simple. Click on the plus right there and click on group. Now you're going to click on the cube of the group. This will make it into a 3D layer. So now click on the plus, media and image and import the pictures that you want to port. Now convert all of these pictures into a 3D layer just by clicking on the cube. And if the invisibility glitch happens to you, just try to switch the layer's position. Now on the background layer, just push the Z axis up and then scale it up. This will make your background. Just make sure it fits the whole screen. And now select your main subject and scale it up also. As you can see, are you gonna have to click on the little plus? Go ahead and click on 3D, import. And you'll have to search your 3d model i just got a 3d soccer ball on the internet now all you have to do is just kill it down a little bit and make sure that the, all of the axes are the same number just to have an equitable scale now just position it the way you, you would like it to be and now you can close the transform tab if you're if you're satisfied click on custom model material and this is where you can change the, the way the ball looks and you can change the lightning texture the light direction and you can change the type i'll pick reflexive environment and i'm just trying to make a gold ball so i'll put a yellow tint and then you can experiment with the other parameters now for the rotation of the ball as you can see it's not good it's because of the pivot you can play around with the settings just to, to make it look good when it rotates. It may take a while, but you'll get it eventually. Once you're happy with the way your 3D model is rotating, you can start your animation. Go at the beginning of your timeline, click on plus to add a keyframe, and add a second keyframe a little bit later and change the value of this keyframe. And it will make you a little rotation. It's cool. And yeah, also don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video if you think it's helpful, share it with your friends, and yeah, let's get back to the tutorial. Now I want to animate the light direction, so it's the same principle, click on light direction, go to the beginning of your timeline, put two keyframes and just animate the second one, and this will make you something like that. I'm happy with the ball animation now, I want to animate the camera. So click on group, and it will act as a camera, so on position you can start positioning your camera and do whatever you want now i'll start by animating the camera so add the second keyframe i'll just try to uh, change the value of the second keyframe and this will create me an animation and i'll just see if i like it in a second yeah that's exactly what i wanted but the animation is a little bit choppy so click on the wheel curve editor now select all of these straight lines and click on the curve that you want to put and here you go it is way smoother now to add a little bit movements just click on the wheel again now this time click on wiggle editor now just tone down the frequency in the amplitude it should look good now even this is too much just tone down the frequency again and yeah this is perfect So once you're happy with your animation, what you can do is start making the effects. So just click on the white plus uh, under transform, go on asset store and pick the effect that you want. I'm just picking a little glow effect. Uh, I think it looks good. Just try to tweak around with the effects that you like. This is a free, uh, free space for you and your creativity. Now just press the store again, RGB, I'll take the prism effect. Uh, I like it so much. I'm using it in almost any projects. And yeah, that was it. It was really simple and easy to understand. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe to my channel if you did. Don't hesitate to like. Follow me on Instagram. See you in another video.